Hello and welcome to my tutorial on redstone basics for Minecraft. I'll show you what is redstone ore and how to use it. Enjoy! In Minecraft, redstone ore represents a very simple and primitive form of electricity. There is no voltage or anything, just a logical false and logical true, or one and zero if you'd like to call it this way. For example, we have a door here we'd like to get open. Of course, we can use the conventional way of just opening it, but let's, let's use a more convenient way. For instance, that's a pressure plate. If I'm standing on it, I'm activating the current in the redstone ore, and the door opens. Now I'm off, it closes. Or that's, let's use the lever. I just open the door using the lever and the button. Each, every one of these is a form or a tool that used in circuits. Another thing about redstone is that there is no... Let's, for instance, if I activate this lever, if standing on that pressure plate won't cancel the first one. Because the door represents an OR gate, meaning that any current going into it will activate it. So any one of those three OR combination, like two of them, or all three of them will represent a true for the door and it will open. So standing on it won't cancel it. Okay, so now I'll show you where to get redstone. You'll usually find it really deep and usually near diamonds or gold, very close to lava. Okay, so here we are near lava pool. As you, as you can see, it looks like this a red ore looking thing. You'll need steel big to mine it. Stone won't do it. Steel or higher. Of course, diamond will do as well. When you mine it, it will be look like this, like four powder something. And usually you'll find it in groups or of two to five or so. Redstone ore circuits are mainly have two main components, two big main components. Redstone ore, which represents wires and whatever carries the electricity, and redstone torches. These represent, they are similar to alternators in electric circuits, if you're familiar with it, but you don't have to be to understand it. What they do basically is alternate the current that they're receiving. For instance, this one is currently receiving no current, so it's on. If I'll turn it on, it's receiving a current and it turns off. Redstone torches have input and output. As you can see, that lever that supposedly delivers the current to the torch is going into a block. That block is, is dirt, but it can be any block. It can be wood, it can be stone, it can be whatever. And the output is going sort of out of the torch outside. So here you can see, since both of the ore are connected to the block, that supposedly output ore isn't activated because it's connected to the block and not to the torch. So it doesn't matter the state of the torch to the output ore. And because of that, torches can al al must always be connected to a block. They can't float. So if I'm breaking that dirt block, the torch falls. Red torches represent um, the very simple NOR gate, meaning that if it has multiple inputs, if any of them or both of them is turned on, the Let's see here. If any of them or both of them is turned on, the torch will be turned off. So if this is on, it's off. If this is on, it's off. And if both of them are on, it's also off. In order to create redstone torch, what you need to do is take some redstone powder, take some sticks, and every one powder and one stick creates one torch. Another thing you need to know about redstone ore is that it 
it's limited to 15 blocks. You should place more than 15 blocks of ore in a row. It simply won't carry out. The 16th block of ore won't work. It will, if that entire thing is true, that 15, that sorry, that 16th will be false, no matter what. So, for instance, that currently torch is on because it's receiving no current. If I'm turning the torch on, that block is off. So it's still representing true. However, this one is one block shorter, so if I'm turning this on, it's turned off. Also, here you can also understand how you can bypass that limit by simply replacing torches. And here, if I place another torch, That lever currently outputs faults, and I'm interested in faults eventually, so... That thing represents a bridge to bypass that 16th block's limit. Turning it on will turn it on. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, tutorial and found it useful. Hopefully I'll add more of them in the future regarding more advanced examples of what you can do with it, and about gates and how, do the, how they work. Thank you for your time.